Beach Grove, Indiana is a suburb of Indianapolis. It's on the southeast side of Indianapolis and originally uh, was a railroad town. It was built around the railroad. Amtrak moved in in 1975. If the average person were to look at these railroad cars, they would think they were just completely destroyed. We're taking cars and tearing them just about completely apart and rebuilding the car from the ground up. Air conditioning, heating, any damage under car, the gears and the, and the couplers. The work that we do directly affects our passenger safety, number one, and their satisfaction of their train trip. Interior painting, exterior painting. We can still rebuild it and maintain it and make it like new. This is one of the few facilities that can do that. We have to use it, recycle it, rebuild it, and use it again. And, and I think we've become very skilled in those areas. Probably two years ago, it was, it was really coming to a head. The uh, workforce here was an aging workforce. Uh, we were concerned about whether or not we were going to be able to finish our careers here. We had been fighting the last five, six years to keep work in here. Uh, the Bush administration had wanted to break it up for years and privatize it. One of our machinists out here campaigned with President Obama all the way through the inauguration. Barack's campaign called up and said he'd like to come to Beach Grove. He wanted to meet with somebody who lived in Beach Grove, referred somebody at Amtrak. Somehow my name came up first and uh, 12 hours later he leaves in our house. <laughs> he got President Obama really interested not only in Amtrak, but Beach Grove facility. I've been a machinist with Amtrak for more than 20 years. I told Barack how I might lose my job because there are plans to move 77 jobs out of the state. Fisher was among those chosen to endorse Barack Obama at the Democratic National Convention. It all stems from a visit this past spring. While campaigning in Indiana, Obama stopped by the Fisher's Beach Grove home. They all had lunch and a candid conversation about the issues the Fishers are dealing with. It was amazing and a great advantage to get the future presidents here. When the stimulus came, the, the story changed. There was a carve out specifically for us over a billion dollars, 1.3 billion dollars, uh, to deliver a new Amtrak. Our craft in itself has put on about 60 jobs since April of this year. We've hired some of our laid off Indiana brothers from the airline industry. You feel like, especially at my age, I'm uh, over 50 years old and to try to find a job, it, it's tough. It, you know, and, and to stay in the area, I wanted to stay in the Indianapolis area. And, uh, Found it very difficult, and I was very thankful for the uh, stimulus package to come by so I could uh, go back to work again. I feel like I'm back to normal. It feels good to have the career again. And it's good to see the stimulus people come in. They can replace the jobs that we're going to be opening up, and hopefully this facility will go for another 100 years. There is 14 miles south of Wilmington, and in this shop we overhaul and repair Amfleet passenger cars. We hired 55 people as a result of the stimulus. Very experienced, very knowledgeable. With them came new ideas, new ways of doing things that they gathered from different companies and different technologies. We have improved uh, our tooling system. Uh, we bought new technology as a result of some of the suggestions of these people. It's, there's a, a seat remanufacturing uh, program that we do at Bear that nobody else does. Latanya, she worked at Chrysler, single mom, did the educational program that they had there, earned her master's degree. The Chrysler plant in Newark shut down. Today was the end of the line for hundreds of workers, and obviously they're now out of jobs. These employees know Delaware stands to lose more than $300 million a year in revenues tied to the Chrysler plant, and they stand to lose a chance to find other good-paying jobs. So she applied for a job here, and we thought that she would be the perfect fit as far as a car repairman because she had a mechanical background at Chrysler and that someday with her master's degree that she could maybe even go higher in, in Amtrak as far as like maybe a management position. These people were hired to overhaul 60 passenger cars, part of which were wrecks and part of which were just stored. Once these 60 cars are overhauled, they will go out into the fleet as newly built cars. We have a lot of people out of work and the stimulus package did help and hopefully it's gonna help more because as by attrition and they backfill the jobs, it'll 
help some of the people that are furloughed. We're talking about over 8,000 jobs. Anybody that might say that the stimulus hasn't worked, it has for Amtrak, it has for railroads. We're delivering and we're seeing real results of it. I'm a third generation railroader. My grandfather worked for Penn Central and then Conrail. I've got a brother's railroad, father retired, both my sons have worked for the railroad. It's not an easy job. Uh, it's not a job everybody can do. There was no question what I was going to do. This is what I wanted to do from an early age. There is a way for us to continue to improve ourselves and our families uh, through the railroad.